Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I've been busy the last few days, and uh, apparently there's still some sort of comic book industry left in the country. Before I start, Iron Sights 3, Impossible Stars 2 combo campaign. You don't have to order both of them together, but if you do, you save 10%. And then I just backed this uh, Groken 2, uh, and uh, I've kind of been out of the loop. <laughs> like th This had a huge debut. I think the first day was like seventy to 80,000. Um, for people who were in the loop, can you let me know what happened? Was there a special offer on the first day, or was just word of mouth so good for the first one? Uh, I ordered the first one, but I think it got delivered to my P.O. box and I haven't checked it yet. Or, I mean, I just I had this stack of crowdfunded stuff on the kitchen table for like a year and I finally went through it all. And it was like that. Uh, I'll show it. There's this action figure campaign I backed and I got a bunch of stuff, but I don't remember this being in it. But I haven't <laughs> I haven't been to my P.O. box in a while. I, I'm st I still got to go get my Hell Priest uh, statue. Um, so anyway, um, I was busy for a few days. I was answering the easy emails, you know, the emails you can answer on an airplane. That's the easy ones, but Hey, can you review these pages or can you, uh, answer a complicated, no, that it was all easy questions. That's what I could answer. And then finally <coughs> I got a little bit of time and I realized that while I had, you know, answered some easy questions that had popped up, the industry kind of just disappeared <laughs> from my awareness like for two days I was you know worried with other stuff and then when I went to go reconnect with the industry there wasn't really anything there um, so go to bleeding cool you know this is the news for the industry this used to be very very comic book centric and it's a uh, he-man statue something with the video games something with WWE uh, Star Wars, Han Solo, st another statue, Pokemon, Arrowverse. I didn't even realize those shows existed anymore. Apparently a couple of them are still around. Um, more professional wrestling. Here's a comic. Axe Judgment Day. Shouldn't it be Axe Judgment Spray? Uh, then a uh, line art variant... I can't even tell if that's a statue or a, is it a is it a statue that comes with a comic? Um, auctioning books, a candy bar wrapper, some old stuff about Bill Jemis from twenty years ago. Uh, oh, <laughs> the guy apparently the guy who is direct who directed the Flash movie is actually a pretty good artist, so he drew a cover of the Flash and that got canceled. T. Franklin revives. Charlotte Weber, Sun Spider for Marvel. Those are all words. Um, Grant Morrison, because uh, he, oh, he's doing Doctor Who. And it's just, it feels like you, oh, I understand. I typed the website wrong and somebody was doing, you know, you know how you, they'll do, you know, uh, American Air Fines instead of American Airlines. And you're like, wait, this isn't American Airlines. Um, yeah, so it, it, there's, there, it, there's the impression that a comic book industry still exists, but it is so small, it's so irrelevant. When I was a kid, I thought that things literally disappeared. I don't mean large things. I had this theory that small things stopped existing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it was the days of Star Wars, and it was back in the day when Star Wars for kids uh, it was for kids. It wasn't for 40-year-old childless women. So, you know, there was a lot of toys with little tiny accessories. And even when they made the larger uh, version of the action figures, things were still relatively small. So uh, this was amazing to me. It was the size of a Barbie, but it wasn't a Barbie. Um, and he had, you know, his own... Uh, oh God, that was so cool. He had his own utility belt. And at one point, I lost the grappling hook and it was in a field and I remembered the spot I was playing in so I went to that spot and it was gone and I looked and I looked and I looked and I came to one conclusion small things if they are not looked at if they are not interacted with will literally disappear not they work their way down into a small little crevice no they don't exist anymore and that went quadruple 
for the even tinier accessories for the, uh, the, the small size action figures. That if there was something small, it just barely existed anyway. Even if you were holding it in your hand, it just was barely there. It was so small, it had such little mass, such little volume. It was just barely in this universe. And if you didn't take care of it, if you didn't put it on a shelf in the same spot or in your little collector case for your action figures, it would disappear. And that doesn't mean you lost it. It means it couldn't be found. It was gone. And it really does feel like that the American comic book direct market, I have to say that, for the, for the people who purposely misconstrue things, the North American comic book direct market has gotten so small, is so inconsequential. And we go to CBR, something about a video game, 30th anniversary cover. It's all about the covers now. It's not about the interiors. An anime, apparently this is about a comic, role-playing game, uh, comic slash gay, comic slash gay again. So we got two... Uh, gay uh, DC hero stories right uh, one hour ago. Uh, we got this, The Boys, which obviously started as a comic, but it's really, now it's almost like it's product that supports a TV show. Another anime, movies. Oh, that's comic related. Okay, TV show, video game, very old TV show, movie, TV show, movie. Oh, there, there's the comic. I recognize that because of the drawing. Yes, it's not a real per When you see this, you, you know it's a movie because it's a real person. And then when you see this, when it's drawn, that means it's a comic book. And when you see all the hatching, you know it's not an anime because you can't really do that stuff in animation. So uh, if you like comics, I'm sorry. If you like the North American direct market, <laughs> keep an eye on it. Cause it's just about to disappear and that doesn't mean you lost it it means it doesn't exist anymore so uh before i go iron sights three impossible stars two combo campaign uh ibai is up to page i think 74 and he just gave me a, a layouts for three more i gotta go check them so there's like 10 more uh story pages to draw and then this is huge i finally reconnected with the logo guy so we're going to finish the knife hand blind spot logo and then that's going to be ready. There's going to be a bunch of stuff that's going to go to press and get fulfilled all within a, a very short time span. But uh, especially, again, uh, if you backed Broken 2 and if you were kind of aware, can you explain to me why it was so huge on the uh, specifically the first day of the crowd funder? Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.